Hi. All right. Hi, guys. We're back after me being sick last week. Yay. So. It wasn't on my free will. All right. So, to recap last time, they had gone out and decided to do some window shopping in people's houses. One they chickened out of. Or someone chickened out of. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> of course you don't. I did and not chicken out. Finally. I wasn't chickening out. They chose one, actually got some stuff. And we didn't really do much else. But today we're back. And hopefully with a new mission. So, did we, um, we stopped where you guys went back to the ends and homes and stuff, correct? Wasn't it? Yeah. I think so. Good. Just making sure on that. All right. Also, thank you for, to Steve for helping, um, for helping our lovely Cole with this new layout we have. It showed last time with loops. You collaborated. Okay. But yeah, we are going to start off and we're going to say it's been a day or two, is there anything you guys will have done in that time? All right. Well, within those one or two days, you would have gotten word that Reese has a new job opportunity for your group. You still have not heard word from your missing team member. Uh, but maybe he has something by now. Maybe he doesn't. You're going to have to meet up with him and find out. So, who wants to start us off with what they're doing? You guys just want to head there? Or... Yeah, let's just go there. Let's go. Let's go. All right, then. I'll meet up in your usual room, and you're hanging out when Reese comes in. He nods a welcome, um, kind of doing mental health head count, confirming you're all here. Easy when there's not that many of you. So, first off... I do have news of lore. Bad news. She will not be coming back. It seems that someone has killed her. Yes. Oh. We're looking into that. On um, a different note, you have a new job opportunity, and we'll keep looking into what happened with war, but to brief you on this, there's a minor noble who decided to go a bit too far with a girl of someone a bit higher up. He left town, is residing in a parent's vacation house somewhere, for lack of a better word. And someone wants him dead. And luckily, he, with the lack of support, 
it shouldn't be too big of a deal. We have some information on how to get in. We have information on who all is there. And your job is to take him out for us. The payment will be at the end. And there is a package that will be sent downstairs later today for you. I do not have it right now, but um, it should be helpful in this. We also have word that this man, his name is um, Joan, also may have a rather valuable item in the safe somewhere in the building. Sources say it's in the basement. So I would suggest just as advice from someone who's done things like this before, before you kill him, let him show you where it is. Any questions? Either that or make it look like someone else did. Although I doubt any influential people will much care. I'm sure once he's found dead, everyone will know. And that's what makes this such a good first venture into this side of the guild. Not many are probably going to care to look into it. But just for appearance's sake, I would suggest doing something. Understood. <coughs> Got it. Especially after the last time? Well, he's not a very good person. Say that will help with some of the moral issues eh, he messed with the girl he deserves it and to hear tell it's not the first time just the first time he went too far with someone who had the power to do something about it so feel free to take him out however you wish just again Remember, nothing gets traced back. And at least put an effort into making it look somewhat. However you do. Or just like you left. What was that? Or just left. Okay, out of character, I can't hear you. Cut it out something. Um, or just like he left. Yes, okay. Yes, that would be a way to do it. Maybe hide the body somewhere else, look like it happened outside the home. Maybe look like a robbery gone wrong. That could definitely be another option. Or a suicide. <laughs> Never mind. Um, there are about a dozen people that will be there. Guards and uh, house staff. He's the only noble there. The rest of his family are still in the city. He... Probably will be a bit jumpy. This is a recent occurrence. So keep that in mind. There's a way in through the basement. The family has a emergency exit, as many higher-ranking members of society tend to do. They're all pretty paranoid. 
probably for good reason, as you'll soon find out. But if you, okay, you could sneak up to his room, you could go to the kitchen, poison the food, uh, the package that will come later will have a layout inside it, as well as some equipment that could possibly assist you. And if there's any other information you need or want to know, ask, and if I have it, and if you need to know it, I'll answer to the best of my ability. No. No, not yet. It's going. Yes. Uh, the directions will be on the layout. It'll show a map how to get there as well, but it's a little outside the city near one of the outlying towns along the coast. A little way outside the town. So you don't have to worry about people seeing you sneak in. But about <clears throat> half a day's maybe. Yeah. It's, yes. It's fortified walls around it. Which is what's so great about having that door. It should be near the coastline and some rocks. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> However, I wouldn't be surprised if there was some kind of guard on the secret entryway. So keep your eyes out. Again, these people are paranoid. Almost as bad as us. I doubt it's guard. There'll probably be more traps. So, right. <clears throat> there could be some kind of guard. I doubt it'd be something you could just see. There's also a ebon clad agent in the area that you may be able to find and ask for help if so needed. His name is uh, Gustus. He is a half elf, kind of on the short side, wearing a rather interesting hairstyle. You'll know when you see it. <laughs> also tends to dye his hair, so you'll probably know. <laughs> if it's a mullet, we'll change it. <laughs> I'm, I am out of character, I'm not gonna lie. I am very tempted to make it a mullet now. <laughs> Reverse mullet. Reverse mullet. Uh. Party in the front, business in the back. Party Don't then. give your DM ideas like that. I will take them. <laughs> Looks like a horse's butt. Jeez. All right. Also, there are horses reserved for ebon clad agents that need to go out. So ask the quartermaster uh, for some say that Reese sent you. Tell them that. All right. Anything else before I head out? None that I can think of. 
You all? Nope. Nope. Right. I'll tell you if we find out anything more when you get back about lore. And I wish you all good luck. As usual, don't die. And he'll nod at you all and leave the room. So, so. you have till this afternoon if you want to gather any supplies you think you need that won't be in the package if you want to do anything else no <laughs> so Erston are you gonna be okay with this? If you don't mind, well, I mean, if you do mind, I can kill him for you. Down to kill a guy? Uh, guys? They're saying on the chat, but they yep, can't hear you. <laughs> That's just me. Hmm. What? Uh, Should we do an audio check? No, it's fine now. Hey, can you guys, okay, can you guys hear Steve? Yeah, we can I all guess. hear Steve. Well, they can all hear me. You guys can hear me. It's the screen. I know what the problem is. I see. Is. It's already fixed. Okay. Already then. Uh, Say yes on chat when this gets to you. Yeah. Alright, cool. It's, I, I can, can tell, because I'm set up the check. Okay. okay. Uh, I'm sorry. All right. So, Back in game mode. I don't know how much I can boost myself. Did we ever okay. finally name the bartender that we never named? <laughs> uh, the bartender. I don't think we he ever... deserves his discreet. I mess. think you name you gave him a name for me when I um, went to talk to him about that lady. But I think but we no. forgot his name. No, we forgot. Nope, it's Riz so. Kincaid. No, that's your keeper. Oh yeah, that is our keeper. Uh... <laughs> it might be in my notes. We can look back a long time. <laughs> but all right. No, nope, I don't. Have, way? We don't have a name. Okay. All right, we'll make one up. His name is now Jerry. Jerry, Jerry. Okay. We're going with the J names today, Jerry, Joshua, or John. E names. E names is our thing. Kind yeah. of is. <laughs> okay, so it's Joshua or was it Joshua? Joshua. Joan. Joshua. <laughs> Joshua. Joshua is our bartender. Oh. Okay. All right. Well, he's the one that will have your stuff. Okay. And we were doing some RPing and I lost it because of the sound. Yeah. Issue. Sorry. <laughs> uh, All right. So, Len, you were, because you were asking me, are you going to be okay with this, Arston? <clears throat> I'm going to have to get used to it if I'm going to avenge. Never mind. I I I should be. I have to be. So is that the reason why you're carrying, you're wearing the last person you, your clothes speaks of motivation? What are you talking about? These are the only clean clothes I have. We've been gone for two days. Yeah, and it hasn't rained in the last two days. Oh, Elon starts, like, putting his hands in, in his face. Just, just so you know... This inn has laundry service. Never mind. Laundry? I don't think. Is what? that when you give it to your laundry? mom and she buys you? No, it's when you cast a spell and it's done. <laughs> I don't have that spell. <laughs> well, if you need it ever, you can find me. Do you know also... source of money to go buy new clothes? We also have the ocean right there. 
Oh, have you tried washing your clothes in the ocean? They get brittle and stiff. It's not just, recommended. It's not very comfortable. It chases. Or smells. Anyway, uh, I'd like to uh, apologize real fast. I was joking. I don't think Laura's dead. Oh. But that was a crass joke on my part. That's... The jury's still out. Oh, I mean... somewhere. It's the business. Yeah. Yeah. She was getting hunted. Suppose Here I thought you guys had more, you know, emotional connection, but seeing as you... Crap. I, br I take back my joke. Oh. Your joke is renewed for three seasons. <laughs> now he told you she was... What, dead? Yeah. Oh. She said dead, and he said yes. Oh. Well, nobody's paying attention, clearly, so... Well, let's go get our stuff. Sorry. Sorry, Angel. Yeah, let's go pick up the package. The package is gonna be there... Tomorrow. No, in the afternoon. Well, I, I, our stuff, not the package. I, should have been I think that's what okay. she was referring to. Or was it? Okay. I don't know now. I'm surprised nobody has. Uh, <laughs> no, it's like, we because I gotta get my weapons, my armor. I'm not gonna walk around town in leather armor and carrying my staff. We're going out of town, actually, so it wouldn't be... That's why we you have... just wear regular clothes. I have to go Do get you it. Want... Do you want me to wash your clothes? Sure. I look like a decent person. First, he'll start stripping his clothes off. Sure, fine. Hand him over. <laughs> I mean, I'll leave my underwear on. That's. Thanks. Take a bath. And I take it to laundry service. Music's not on. No, it's not. Who's mine? I, I hear an occasional seagull, so I assume something's playing. I don't know why that's on. It's called it a Dox District Bucket Table, table Audio. Table table audio. I... Are we back? We never left. All right. I... I take laundry, I take the laundry to laundry service, I come back and I say to uh, Erston, you know, for someone who s keeps claiming that they're an adult, you sure act like a child. I said I was an adult. You said you weren't a kid. Well, I'm not a kid. There is a middle ground. I'm a juvenile. Yeah, called... <laughs> Being an adult, but acting like a child. It's called a reasonable person. Okay, I'm gonna go find the bath now. Okay. And I'm gonna st right. walk out. What are They're you not doing? outside. Don't <laughs> look for a puddle. <laughs> you said not outside? They're not outside. <coughs> oh. Can't you go take an actual bath? Where are the baths? The bathhouse outside, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I thought there was baths in the, in the tavern. There might be. Are there bats in this heaven? DM. We'll say sure. Okay, we're connected to the bathhouse. <laughs> yeah, sure. There's like, we'll say there's a bathhouse like right across the street. There we go. That's enough. That's the one people go to. This I let like straight. I walk ahead, far away from Erston, so no one thinks we're together. <laughs> It's not hard, I don't move that fast. I'm running my chubby little legs to try and catch up. I don't keep the door open for him, I let it slam shut behind me. Well, now that that happened... I'm going to be at the library if you need me. <coughs> I'm gonna walk in and... Uh, pull on the lawn's pant like I don't have any money it was in my clothes did I did they give me the money 
I am, I'm assuming that they check pockets, I hope. They probably would have, yes. How much, how much did you have? In their pockets a lot. I think I had like five gold. Not that I've ever done that. I, uh, I, I just gave him his gold. Do we really need to act this out? Can we just skip this? Yeah, just, this? this is why I said I could just cast a spell, yeah. Yeah, we can skip it. Let's just skip it. I don't want to act this out. No, I wasn't going to go past this. Okay, good. How much does it cost? Rubber ducky, you're the one. Alright, let's go. <laughs> Alright, so you guys do that. Alright. Were you going to the bathhouse or were you just like doing the washing thing? Me? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Alan and Alan and Ursa went to the bathhouse. I don't know what anyone else is doing. Okay. Alright. Well, anyway. Oh you guys were doing that. Stello was going to the library. What about Ilada? Oh, uh, I guess I'll just hang out in the tavern and play some cards. Alright. <laughs> okay. So. Is there something specific Stello is looking for? Or are you just going to hang out until... Same uh, thing as I'm always looking for. <laughs> Alright. Make me a roll. What roll? Um, investigation. Dude. Damn. Oh. Oh, well, Go ahead. Alright. So... And besides the books you've already found, um, you find one that seems interesting. It's very short, there's not much information, but it mentions um, some cults that have sprung up around different entities that come from the Far Realms and and such things as that. It talks a lot about just um, the history of them. It probably doesn't go much into what you're looking for, but you find it fairly interesting. Yeah, you don't find anything else. This is not magical theory. This is useless to me. <laughs> Weren't you also looking for that? I nope. <laughs> I have no idea what that was about. <laughs> Something about I just put that back into the shelf. <laughs> Weren't you looking for like magical theory to learn? Yeah. Okay. Well, another waste. Let's go. Yeah, I want to expand on what I was doing. I just kind of want to also try to make some friends in the tavern there. Used to be your size. a pretty lonely guy. All right. All right. Um. He likes it. Do it. Dock workers hanging out. Yeah, There's some huh? other commoners. It's not too yeah, full right now. Some people are just at the bar. Uh, there's another couple. They're also playing a card game. He wants it. At a table nearby. Yeah. Woo! Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Okay. If you want to approach someone, you can. Who was it? The bar directly again? Uh, there's a human there, female. She looks like someone who probably punch her teeth out, but not. <laughs> she's not looking threatening right now. It's just like the appearance of her. She's really muscular. All right, load us down. Let's, let's have a chat and see how quickly I can lose some teeth. Oh god. He's not good at making friends. Hey, uh, or picking <laughs> friends. 
So let's see what happens. <laughs> okay. At least he's charismatic. <laughs> oh boy. I'll just what walk off. Hey, how's it going? The woman looks up from her drink and down. Okay, I'm going it's in. going. Uh, you are? Uh, name's Alota. And you? Lena. Nice to meet you, Lena. What line of work you in? I'm a bouncer for one of the bars down the street. I tend to go outside for a drink since I'm... That makes sense. You already have to spend time at one bar for the work. Might as well go somewhere else where you can relax. Yeah. Oh. So, if you're just looking to talk, you can... And take a seat. I don't have anything I'm doing. Same. Just passing time. Love it? Yeah. <laughs> Interesting name. Thanks. Kind of had to pick my own name. Not sure if I should dig into that or not, but. Open about it if you want to. <laughs> Um, All right. That's what the music. <laughs> that has to be Hansel. <laughs> well, it goes on mute. Ulada. What work are you doing? You're asking me mine. Uh, just sort of odd jobs here and there. Mercenary. Not necessarily. I don't think I'm really cut out to go fight okay. someone directly. Okay. I'd probably get my ass handed to me. Oh my God. See you later, Uncle. <laughs> Not creating a one on one hand to hand. Mm. Well, I mean, you ever want to try? Too hard. I actually have to go soon, my break's ending. But it was nice meeting you, Alada. I come here a lot. Yeah, I've been around here pretty recently, now that I think about it. I actually think I've seen you once or twice before. You show up with those, uh, tiefling, uh, not sure if they're happening or no. I don't. I. I, uh, don't ask me. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure. <coughs> All I know is he's um, kind of weird. I'm actually gonna head out. Alright. But it See was around, nice yeah. meeting you. And she's going to head to the bartender. Nod and she kind of give a little wave. A wave and back. Leave. Well, you may have been the other king of Rome. Alright, gotta make my note for Lena. There we go. This all happened while we were at the bathhouse? Like at the exact same yes. time? Yes. Damn it. You may pass her when you're coming back. <laughs> I pass her when I'm coming back and I smile charmingly as I open the door for her to let her out. Man, it's really annoying. She nods her thanks and keeps going. Yeah. I, I had a quick question for the DM. All the right. sword... The sword I stole last week, what kind of sword is it? I think we said it was a short sword. Was it a short sword or a long sword? Pretty sure it was short sword. 
Yeah, I think it's a short sword. Just don't give it to me. I just want to see if I'm proficient. Yep, I am. You should be. I might. Yeah. I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> I am useless in melee combat, so don't give me that. Ever. <laughs> so much drama going on in Steve's end. Alright. Well, I mean, my friend. <laughs> That's a good day for a load of. <laughs> it's one more than he had before. Alright. So. Anything else you guys are waiting or wanting to do before mm. we time skip? Uh, no. Let me check something real quick. Oh, it's not I'm that good. great. Uh. What did we just lose? Cat. Oh no! Hold on. Of screen. course. I was gonna say I might go gambling, but. Three. We're back, guys. Two. Hi. One. Oh, stop your countdown, Ansel. Yeah. Start it. It's already started. We're no. live. No, we're already here, uh, Ansel. Oh. Double delay. <laughs> Somebody tell me where I left off or where we left off. Uh, um, Lena just left. I do not know. You were asking us if we wanted to do anything or just time skip. Yes. And then... Uh, oh, yeah. Said, Give me a moment. Person. Oh. Uh, we lost a load. Do I want to do something? Do I want to do something? Do I want to do something? Can Are you I saying this out loud? No. But technically, yes. <laughs> uh, no, I don't have anything to do. Alright. Alright. So, we're gonna time skip. You all come back to the tavern. Um, I'm guessing you're all just hanging out. You see a little girl uh, come in. And she's dressed kind of nicely. Looks a little dirty. Hair kind of frizzy. A little. And she runs up and kind of gets the barkeeper's attention package and then leaves. So that's probably for you. I suppose we didn't get in like a code word or anything, so Urson will just stroll up to the bar. I think you have a package for us? Or for me? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm using us as in a royal us. Yeah. Just came by, I'm sure you saw. And he'll pull it out and give it to you. It's kind of hefty. <clears throat> Wrapped in brown paper. And tied up. I think that's what you're looking for. Uh, feels... Yeah, that's that's it. All right, perfect. Thank you very much. Of course. I'm gonna go. Is this? I assume this is where we normally stay. Like we have the interrogation room or whatever upstairs. You were. I think you guys were hanging out, out downstairs, but you can go upstairs. Okay. I'm just making sure I'm taking to the right bar. Uh, what? I was making sure we were in the right bar that I was thinking of. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'll take the package upstairs. I follow. I guess we have to go upstairs now. Oh. Let's go. Yep. All right. Headed back to your room. I bring my beer with me. <laughs> 
All right, you bring your beer with you. We're gonna have a new alcoholic, guys. Right. Yay. I don't it's know what the me. Christmas equivalent is here, like Midwinter's feast or whatever, but I'm open. I am what like I this. am. Elon is whatever a foodie is for alcohol. An alcoholic. <laughs> no. Alcon ashore. No. Sure. Oh, she that he would have gone along with Meg just, or Laura just fine. Right. Well, everyone except Order me and Lan. <laughs> Alright, All right. so yeah, that's... <coughs> Anna start pulling stuff out of the package and take inventory. Alright. I uh, go open up and piece of paper falls out what you assume is all the details and stuff yeah i'll throw it to there. somebody nearby so, i'd pick it up i take it i'm gonna make a list first of what all is in there mm -hmm. uh, there are some new clothes too Ooh. for but, everyone yes okay there seems to be choices of what you can Take your, it looks like there's rope jackets, um, there's, uh, what are they called? Give me one moment, guys. My mind blanked. How big because... is this package? Huge. They're, um... It's as big as you. Probably must be. <laughs> <laughs> They're not we... thick clothes. Rope jackets are. I, yeah. I mean... What kind of- what do they look like? Um, they're pretty plain, non-assuming, but they have rope in them that you can hide. Uh, there's a vial, uh, in it that a has a- It looks like the one you gave them before. From the thing you got with Dale. Oh boy, fancy, Ooh. fancy clothes. That's Pretty. what I think of when I hear rope jacket. Yeah, no, it's just rope that's, like, tied inside the sleeves and stuff, so it's hidden. Okay. Uh, there is... Yeah, there, there's a picture in the book. Oh. In the, uh... Actually, I can get that, because I own the physical copy of the book. Yay! For... Doing that, even though it costs money. I think it's the Evanclad book. Is that an Evanclad? Oh, is it the Evanclad? Oh, yeah, it's an Evanclad item. I'm on that because it's not down there like I thought it was. But it's just a jacket with ropes in it, and there's the vial, and there's a pouch that when you pick it up seems to be empty. Uh, I'm sorry, it was a pouch that seemed to be empty? Yes. Okay. I mean, naturally I'll feel around in it, make sure there's no... Your hand goes far deeper than you expected it to. Oh, yes. Oh god, it's <gasps> eating me! Where's my arm? <laughs> I know what is this is. This the bag of holding. spell that bag of holding it might be or it's not a bag of holding. It's a pouch. Oh, pouch of holding. Small. Bye. 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 Make us feel bad, cat. Okay. So we had a bag of holding. Can I reach the yeah. bottom? No. Um. It's, I'm playing in I character, play. so <laughs> falls Probably into bag. <laughs> sure. Let's try pushing your head in, and I start pushing the bag. Let's not. I don't know what's in there. You can turn it over. That's a good idea. I'm gonna turn it over. Shake. Alright. Out pops. I think it's when you turn it inside out, not just upside down. Oh. Well, I'll try everything, trying to get it to. Okay. Well, some. 
basic supplies, grappling hook, and stuff fall out of it. Grappling like, hook! Um, a climbing kit. It looks like it's just gonna be kind of like a utility bag. Okay. So you just put some... climbing gear? Well, not climbing gear. Let me look at the list I put here again. I actually wrote it out. Well, she I does that. I was actually prepared, guys. Well, she does that. Stello grabs the grappling hook since he never got it back from Milan. <laughs> oh, do I still have your grappling hook? Yep. Uh, I wings. You want to trade? There's a couple bags of caltrops. Um, and there is... Let's see. What was this other... There is a crowbar. Okay, so a grappling it looks hook. Like it's mostly empty. It was just kind of like an extra kind of. Hey, you need a way to sneak stuff in. Sure. Uh, Here's a little thing. It's smaller than a bag of holding. Okay. So it's a grappling well, hook, bags of caltrops that you just said couple. I wrote it all down in roll twenty. Uh, well, it's hard for me to have both. Oh, do wait, hold up. Also, a vial of acid. Vial of acid. Is that the vial of something we got during Dale Instant, or is that something else? Something else. Okay, vial of acid. I have a grappling hook. Who doesn't have one? I don't. I have wings. I'll give the extra grappling hook to Erston. I'll just put it back in the pouch. You... I think you should keep that, because you probably can't climb. Um, I could turn it into something that can climb. It's but if nice we, but if... Elon looks a little annoyed at his bragging, but just keeps going. I'm not... I'm stating a fact. There was no break, like... No, I... Uh, no, to, my to saying, Elana. it's very nice oh. being able to fly. Okay. Sorry. No, but if you if you need to um, keep your spell saved just in case, that that way you can climb without needing to change. Yeah, she has a good point. Well, does that anybody mind? He. I am a man. Yeah. Sorry, I don't know everyone's gender. <laughs> yeah, we're all males. Okay. Uh, it's a sausage party in here. Does anybody mind if That's I just I had to meet Lena. keep holding on to the pouch? Go well, ahead. If we're smuggling, I things... have I have most of the stuff. Already. I don't have almost any of this stuff, but... I mean, if you want any of this stuff in a bag, I don't care if you take it. I will take some clothes, and I take the fanciest one. But when I, I was oh. able to learn, when I'm shifting into my animal shapes, I can shift the stuff I'm carrying into my body, in a way. So if we need to smuggle stuff in, this would be an amazing thing to do. Smuggle okay. the body. I'm gonna throw on the jacket and sort of roll up the sleeve and get my wrist sheath set up. If you want, I do have some supplies we could put in there as an emergency if, if we get separated. I wonder if we could fit a body in there. Anybody I know if there's like a body around somewhere? Difficult. It, no? it won't fit. The opening's too small to do that. Unless you cut it up. You can always cut it up. Does it look like a torso could fit in? Cut up the torso. <laughs> DM. Yeah, it's the, the clothes. Let's change. Let's change the subject a little bit. The clothes. I'm assuming we need to change into these clothes. How big are these clothes? Like, can they cover our already clothing that we have on, or do we have to change completely? They're jackets, so I can go over, and they're all measured to fit you guys. Because I'm already wearing a jacket, I don't want to leave it. I just want to get my wrist sheath loaded up with my dagger. Honestly, there's no real reason for us to wear these right now. Yeah. We can put them in the pouch. You could probably fit those in the bag if you roll them up right. Military style. Who knows how to do military style? I was never in the military, but I know how to fold things. Yeah, it's not that hard to fold things. I did my laundry before I learned magic. It's definitely <laughs> different. 
I didn't have to. Work. Okay, so what are we keeping in the pouch for now? Because I'm going to keep a separate inventory. Let's Anything. Try. Everything that's already in the bag should stay in the bag. Okay. I think one of us should keep a crowbar on us. I already, I already have one. Me okay. too. Well, we already have crowbars, so we should put that in the bag. Okay. Does anybody want to take the vial of acid? I'll um, take it. I could also take it. I don't want to lose. I'll let you guys take it. I that. can use it at range with Mage Hand. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Knife. I. What did you choose? <laughs> knife. Knife? I choose knife. I choose Not really sure. sharp scissors. I'm gonna stop in. I have 10 feet of hemp and rope. I don't know why it's only 10 feet. I, <laughs> have... I think we use some during capturing a few people. Oh no, it was 10 I... pounds. I'm sorry, so I had 50. Oh, pounds. yeah. That's wow. a lot of I... hemp and rope. I do also have 10 pounds of hemp and rope. It's, I think that's 50 feet of rope. Yeah, we all have a lot of rope. <laughs> yeah. So I throw mine in there. Oh yeah, we uh, we have it on the jackets, so we can just toss it in there. Honestly, I'm fine with just tossing jackets in there. <laughs> I assume that's what yeah, the rope jacket really does. Is you could just kind of uh, unravel can, it. I looked it up. You can cut the cuff to get 50 feet of rope. Okay. I'd assume less on a gnome-sized rope jacket. I don't know. Because otherwise, that would just be. Bit less, yeah. I'd look like the Michelin tire man if I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a bit less on that, but there's still stuff in there. Sure. Yeah, I don't really need the jacket. I'll also yeah. just toss the jacket in there. Okay. So I'll just put in three human-sized rope jackets for now, and one gnome-sized one? Mm-hmm. Okay. Because I already have long sleeves, so I can conceal everything I need. Actually, Same. I suppose if it's not an issue, I have an herbalism kit that I normally stash here. If you want, we can take it with, if someone knows how to use that. I have one no. I've been using for my alchemy, huh? but no, I no clue. if I don't have to go get it, I'm more than happy to toss yours in there. Sure. I just go out of the room, go into mine, and grab it. I have my, uh, well, I always keep my thieves tool on me. I'm sure. alright. Yeah, I'm just taking the extra stuff, and I assume all of this fits in there, Kat? Nope. Uh, yes. Okay. It will hold half of what a bag of holding holds. Okay. Two hundred fifty pounds. Yes. Okay. Hey, I remember how much that is. So this is one twenty-five. Right? Because bag of holding is two fifty. Okay. I think a bag of holding was. Bag of holding is five hundred. Oh, okay. I didn't know which way you were going, like if that was the bag or pouch. Okay, 250 pound capacity. Yeah, pouch is 250. Okay. So I have the list and... Okay, good. If someone else wants those caltrops, because I have 20 bags on me. I have bolts instead. So I can just have some the bolts. So I'll just put in two bags of caltrops for now. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, so have we figured out how we're going to try to assassinate this guy without it looking like assassination? Well, I think the first thought... thing is to go find the house and see what we're dealing with. I'd I... say the first thing is actually looking at this blueprint. Yeah, that too. Look at the I blueprint, we, we have to figure out a plan, Wait. and then scope out. Wait, was there a blueprint in the bag? <laughs> yeah, out of character, yeah. where did the blueprint come from? Oh, okay. Oh, is that what I threw aside? Oh, I still have a piece of paper in my hand. Yeah, that was what it was. Oh, yes. Okay. I put it on the table or the bed or whatever. Alright. You spread it out. Uh, it shows what looks like a large manor, short of a mansion. Uh, there's Three stories, plus a basement. Looks like the family went there. They and their guests sleep on the top floor, so his room is probably up there. The bottom floor has 
kitchen. It has, um, let's see, one moment, please. If I go on here, a uh, mini kind of chapel training room, some supplies and stuff. There's two guard towers outside. The second floor is like mainly uh, there's a meeting room and stuff probably nothing of interest there it's going to be let me do these measurements it's big I'm gonna just say it's big now the two guard towers are probably very tiny yeah, there's places where guards can walk on the wall. The best bet definitely looks like going for that secret entrance, because they can... There's, like, some notes on the piece of paper as well. Um, it shows that there's always two guards patrolling out front. There's going to be around eight that will be inside and then there's a cook and a a priest and a few servants living in that will be wandering around at whatever times the land around the building is clear, so there's not going to be any concealment in that. Luckily, because there's not many people and they're not all going to be grouped together, you probably won't be swarmed in one spot. You could probably go around run, and right away. run into, if you run into someone, you can dispatch them. Although, there's also a note that says there might be magical types of defenses in the house. Hmm. Good thing I'm an expert at finding traps. Can you find magical ones? No. Maybe? <laughs> If I get lucky. Same. Hmm. Well, that's well if they're where? Does nobody know to spell magic? That's not a spell any of us could know right now. Uh, it's... So, no. I mean, let's remember, you know, in character, we may not know the level required for... Ah. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Well, I mean... I guess there's nothing to do it but to do it. No choice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, our game plan, we'll go into the secret tunnel down here. Mm -hmm. Is that uh, detailed? Because we, the most we've heard about it is from Reese. I don't think we've heard anything about it from this blueprint. Where is that it? That is going... It shows where the entrance pops up. It has like a little thing in the, on the basement floor plans. It's going to be in a little corner behind some barrels. Um, it makes note that the entrance is going to be over behind the house down on some cliffs, below some cliffs. Because this is located like the back is to the sea. So it'll be somewhere around there. It doesn't show an exact place. But it does uh, have a little symbol that looks kind of like this on it. Just turn to the canvas. 
tilt that down. Oh, yeah, you gotta tilt it Top away from down. the light. There you go. Okay. 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 Like a triangle on the circle. With and then two two lines. Lines. Oh, I see it. <coughs> like okay. Use Sharpie next time, please. I don't have one with me. <laughs> I just had a. Next time. Next time. Yeah. Okay. I'll get. I'll get one to keep by me next time. So that's what's there. Yeah. All right. Uh, and then. All right. We can all see in the dark, right? Yes. yes. I can, I can yep. see you very far in the dark. Okay. Well, at least we won't have to worry about lights and sneaking around once we're in there. Uh, yeah. Should we plan for an, a, a night assault? We definitely should, just Probably. because... So what are, these, what, are these, what are these rope jackets for? Are they our disguises? Well, that's if we need rope. Or, I'm sorry, that's if we need rope to, to climb in somewhere. Oh. Easier to carry. Also, there's we... clips nearby, so it's a good backup plan if you need a rope. That'll probably get you something. It's near the sea. It's better than running through flat plains. I don't know. There could be ways to use it. There could be ways. Alright. Not gonna lie, I don't think disguises are gonna be too much help here. No. I mean, one of us, if we get caught, can talk our way out of things. Yeah, but yeah, let's not base our plan on getting caught. Yeah, it's yeah, that's not a good way to plan. I think we can assume if we're caught, we're gonna get in a fight. Cause I mean, Probably. what's our cover story gonna be? We stuck in your house, and we have a good reason to be here. And we want to kill you. Housekeeping. Well, I don't think we'd say we want to kill you as part of our cover story. If, if we get we caught, can, if we can come up with something, I can try to talk us out of it. I have an idea as well. We'll just say that we're here because someone is trying to kill you, one of your own guard. Let's see how it'll go over. Hmm. Yeah, let me do the talking for that, though. Because or I me. I'm pretty I'm... good at talking to people. As well as me. Well, my people skills are obviously spectacular. So, I, I'll just sit in the corner. And aside from that... Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I don't think the rope is gonna be too much useful if we already, already had a rope. Alright, um, I mean, so once we get in, I mean, are we just going to try and kill him in his sleep, or are we going to do the poison thing? What do we want to... I have an idea. It might not work, but I have an idea. And? Right? This is kind of the time to Okay, so the, my idea is, because we have acid, I'm not sure if it'll work the same as if we did it with poison. Probably uh, not. Yeah, probably not. But we could, like, coat, like, a caltrop spike or, like, a bolt tip in the acid and, like, stab it in between his toes. So that way it's hard to find. Or and if it works, it kills him. If it doesn't, it uh, injects a small part of his body with acid. And then he'll start screaming and get everyone's attention in the house. we do it when he's asleep. At that point, why don't we just all raise our weapon and hit him upside the head? Mm-hmm. Okay. Acid would More not ideas. work like that. It also doesn't work like that. Yeah, it would flow off the steel. It, it will yeah. corrode whatever we're covering. Acid's going to eat through a metal. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah. I mean, I can try finding the materials for a poison. Depend. Do we have a time frame on this? No. Oh, it's, I was asking the party. Sorry. If we didn't we ask, we weren't told any. No. Uh, we weren't told any, so I assume no. Yeah, it's. I mean, mm. if we have whatever time, I can go out hunt some creatures or talk to some merchants and see if we can get the materials for me to make a poison. Really, poison just seems kind of. It would work, but so would anything else, and poison would send the message that, yeah, this guy was deliberately killed. Well, they have to find where he was poisoned from. And if oh. we stage it so it looks like he just died in his sleep. How old is he? I don't think we know. Yeah, we don't know. We Anyone can have a heart attack. Do we know what this guy looks like? Nope. No, but he's the only noble there. Yeah, so we'll just assume the person with the best dress clothes. Right. You can always ask at the village, too. Do we know his name? Nope. I told you the name. Wait, did we? Jane. Or Joan. Joan. No, no. Joan. <sighs> okay. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah I thought we were going in here completely. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Uh, this. So, well, I mean, if we do the poison thing, what, and then he, you know, falls over a cliff or falls down the stairs, I mean, everybody's sleep, and it just looks like he died in his sleep. He sleepwalked off the but, cliff. I mean, if he's young and he's healthy, I mean, most people point, are probably yeah. gonna wonder how he died in his sleep. I have a suggestion. Hello? Yep, you're good. Back. I was going to suggest this earlier, but I wasn't. But we could stage it as a suicide. It's possible. Why? Why would he yeah. commit suicide? It doesn't make well, any let's sense. Hear around. We can always find out. But Honestly. didn't he just uh, have some trouble with some noble of a higher class than him? Yeah. Right. Honestly, Maybe. I think it's just simplest if we go in there, kill him, and then toss him over the cliff, and then he's right. gone. It's simple. If he has a bunch of stab wounds. Well, if they don't find the body, there's no wounds to find. Fair point. And if he washes up later, I mean, the fish will be chewing on him. And if we get caught doing this and have to beat a few people down... If we do end up having to stab him... I can turn into a dog and gnaw off body parts that were stabbed. Oh. I mean, it's not pretty, but... It Why would a dog work. be in the house? Well, if he's so outside, we throw him over the cliff after... Oh. And he's been chewed on by scavengers. Okay, note to self, when we get to the town, ask the people around it if they've seen the local noble walk around town. Well, so he could just fall off the edge. Possible. Right? Unless anybody else has another idea. Hmm. We need to choose. Suicide is yeah. probably the best plan. Mm. Anyone good at forgery? I know uh, someone who is, but not me. No. I, mm. I can't. I mean, I can write um. well, but I, I'm not good at... Hmm. The real thing we should do is plan for if we do get caught after we've already got this plan. If we just beat people down, are we killing the guards? We probably have to, but then yeah. it wouldn't look like much of an accident. Yeah. At that point, I think we're just going to have to give up the plan. Because and... he said it was optional to make it look like an accident. It was just encouraged. Okay, what then first... Could... Do... Oh, what if we kidnap him? This is assuming that we all go wrong, though. But yeah, kidnapping yeah. him would work, yeah. Knocking him out, kidnap him, take him away, kill him at another location. Yeah, perfect. Now let's assume we get caught first and guards see us. I mean, I'd like, personally, I would like to keep fatalities low. But... Yeah. However, I'm just bringing this up. When we get to town, we should ask if there's people Whoa. in town that would want 
very much to see a lot of bloodshed in the area. <laughs> and if they have a convenient emblem that we can paint and paint in blood of everyone there. We can always weaken at Bernie it. Is, is that a bar reference? I'm not sure. Yeah. Was that like a, a school vacation or something? Sure. It's a play. It's a play that I, I used to I used to watch in town about a man who kills another man and then uses his corpse as a puppet to make everyone think that they're still alive. That's disgusting. Oh. But very funny. Was he a necromancer? Mm-mm. Nope. Just a run-of-the-mill guy. Must be so dirty. I don't think run-of-the-mill guys pretend yeah, that doesn't sound very murder victims mail. are alive and run around with them. And you want some very I'll take I'll take you to the play. It's very funny. I think I could pass. Yeah, that doesn't sound like Same. Thanks though. So So go ahead. Nope, go ahead. I was gonna ask, is, is that what we're gonna be doing? That's the ideal plan, I'd say, yeah. Well, not the Weekend at Bernie play that you just referenced, the kidnap him, yeah. We can just throw him overboard into the ocean after we take him. That is what I suggested, yeah. Then let Mother Nature take the wheel. Okay, if there's nothing else... Shall we go get the horses? Yeah, yeah, let's do this. Mm -hmm. Kirsten, have you... Can you turn into a horse? Yeah, absolutely. I did it a few times. It's not very hard. I can only do it for a couple hours, though. It's not going to be... I'd have to exhaust my <coughs> magical energies to make yeah. the trip. Yeah, let's not do that. Yeah, I, I was mainly just asking. He doesn't... He's not that heavy anyway. Well, thank you. I've been losing a few pounds. Working out. I'll flex a little. Yeah. Where is the Quartermaster? Elon claps. Good job. That would be on the outside of town. You would be going through the... A moment. You would be going through the Cherry Way. Okay. That's the one that would wind up to the city. I mean town. Okay. And there would be a quartermaster over there. Okay, let's go. Yeah? Yeah, let's go. Let's go ahead and fast forward us. Alright. So you guys get your horses and you head off. If you would arrive about an hour after nightfall if you want to keep going that hour. We get to where after? To the town oh, okay. or village. It'd be village. It's not big enough for a town. I'd, I think we would just find a place to sleep for the night. Well, I mean, we could launch a night raid. Weren't we going to talk to townspeople? Yeah. And I assume we'd like to talk to our contact yeah. here. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> At least touch in. Yeah. So let's. Go to How sleep much for longer the night. to the? How much longer till we get there, though, if we were to keep going? We're there. Yeah. We're oh. there an hour after nightfall. We're at the village. Oh, okay. So we should definitely find an inn if it's already dark. Yeah. There would be one right on the way in. It's pretty small. It's by the... It runs by the dock, the road you're on, and it's just right on the outskirts of town. Fairly small. Looks comfortable, though. 
Uh, yeah. You don't know if there's anywhere else, but it's called the Laughing Dragon Inn. What was the name of this village again? The village, village. I did not tell you the name of, so oh. that was my bad. Is there a road sign that we can follow <laughs> upon? Yes, you see a road sign on the way in, and you read Havenscar. Welcome to Havenscar. Yep. Like H A V E N? Or Heaven, like he angels came from heaven? Heaven. Ah. Or Haven. Yeah. Yeah. Do you mean Haven? Well, either way. Okay. You can pronounce that. It's spelled the same. It's pecan, not pecan. Tomato, tomato. Yeah. Tomato, basically. Tomato. <clears throat> I uh, put my horse in. All. So write that down for notes. Already have. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's go in. Wait. First and you're sleeping inside, right? Please. The homeless level might be known here. You don't want to draw any suspicions by being the new guy. That's true. I'm just comfortable in a tree somewhere, too. I don't have to sleep in town. Yeah, but what if there's, like, limited territory within the homeless community? They you don't want to get into trees. another fight. The nobles yeah. might have. You never know. This is a pretty clear area. We're by, we're by the beach. I've lived in a lot of woods. I've never found a homeless person in every single tree. But for the sake of peace, I will sleep in the inn. If one of you pay for it. Honestly, deal. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And I'll walk in. Alright. Uh, you open the door, it's warm there's a fire going in the hearths there's a woman playing the flute by it uh only three patrons right now and there's a woman behind the bar with her hair in a bun kind of graying hair uh, looks kind of like a kindly old grandma how good of a player is the flute player uh not exceptional, but it's pleasant to listen to. Is she pretty? Uh, she she's pretty. She looks like she might be related to the innkeeper. Maybe her daughter or granddaughter. Uh, I smile and give her a silver piece. <laughs> she uh, nods to you in recognition, but she keeps playing without interruption. I'm gonna keep walking to the bar. Alright. I'm gonna take a seat and just enjoy the music. The woman looks up at your approach. Oh, uh, I don't recognize you. New to the town? Yes, yeah, just passing through, actually. Then I guess you need a place to stay then. Would we only have three rooms available? There's four of you, if you one of eh, two of you wouldn't mind rooming up. Uh, I'm sorry we don't have more, it's relatively small, not many people come through here. See, it's fate. I shouldn't have slept in here. No. <laughs> Are there multiple beds in one of them at least? There is one with two beds, yes. Okay, you and I are bunking. Oh boy. It's a sleepover. You ever had one? With my brothers Obviously. and sisters, but... Hey, sooner or later, oh, you and I are my... brothers in arms. My cousins, yeah. Okay. The rats. Well, those are friends. And it's more of they sleep on me. Yes, three rooms, please. She's been watching in slight amusement. That will be a silver for each. I hand her another silver. Thank you kindly. They will be... Well, let me show you to the, your rooms real quick so you can set down your stuff. 
And if you would like a drink or any food before you head to bed, I can provide that. Um, Are you a good cook? I would consider myself fairly well uh, versed in the family recipes. My grandma, my aunt, my mother considered herself a fairly good cook, passing on to me. Then I shall anticipate it greatly. All right. Well, right this way, and she'll take three keys off a hook behind the counter and head up the stairs and she'll give one to Stello, the first room on your right. Thank you. It's the one you shall be staying in. Then she'll step down a little bit more. The second on your left is the next and then the one right after that on the left will be the last one available. And she'll I, hand go ahead. the keys to um, Ilana and oh, sorry, I'm yawning to Alon and Ilana, yeah. I, I, as she hands it, I kiss her knuckles and think, say my thanks. Really taking an overboard now. Alright. So, not in. So, well, I'll be downstairs when you are ready to come. And I hope you find it all to your liking, if there's anything you need, please tell me. And then she will head back down. Well, I'm gonna go to bed. Up? I'm really tired. You have been up for a bit. What's our cover story? Should we need Passing one? through. If we wanted to ask questions. Passing through. Seeing the sights. I assume we're talking in Evan Cant. Yes. Okay. Uh, passing through, Noble all of a sudden ends up dead. Generally, those are connected. We should probably have a better cover story. Thank you. Okay. Hope we don't come across any trap. Oh, actually, hope we do come across traveling minstrels. We can blame them, then. <laughs> right. Okay. I don't even I know will... I will put my bags in my room and then go downstairs to grab a bite to eat. Yeah, I'll put down my non necessities and then head on downstairs. I'll, I'll just keep all my things on me. I always do. <laughs> I'm passing I out. I just have, I have like an explorer's pack. I don't need to keep on me and some of my weapons. Yeah, I think I'll be in hay too. Not y'all. Nope. I keep a sword and my hand crossbow hidden in my sleeve. That's why I have a, a wrist sword. Sheath. would be hard to hide in your sleeve. Well, my it's on my hip. Okay. I have a long coat. Okay. I just left all my weapons. I just keep the wrist sheath. That's all I need. Alright. Uh, do you guys want to take a real quick break here in the middle? Well, it's not quite the middle. Yeah. But yeah. We can take multiple breaks. Break, so we might as well just do that now. Okay. We'll be back in five minutes, stream. We're back, guys. <clears throat> Alright, so you guys, what's your plan for this? We're, me and Yolanda are going downstairs to have a bite to eat. And I go up to the bar. Oh, so how is everything? The, 
The rooms are lovely. What is your name? I'm so sorry, I didn't catch it the first time. My name is... Wait, did I already say her name? No. no. Okay. My name's Lana. I think you did then. Okay. Uh, out, of, out of character. I thought I said her name. Well, I am enjoying immensely the room, but I, we haven't eaten since this morning. And you did say you had a uh, bite the menu. Yes, I actually just made clam chowder. It was my mother's specialty. Someone else had ordered it earlier, and it's still, we still have some warm if you'd like that. Uh, have- there's also sausages and we have some gravy and i will take a bowl of your clam chowder all right that will be four copper for a bowl and uh and a jug of your finest ale Uh, all right we don't have that we don't have much fancy alcohol here but We have some that should be to your liking, I hope. That would be another two silver. I give her three. He can handle that. Uh, He can handle however that... I'll Uh, have this out to you in just a few minutes. Can I also get a bowl of clam chowder? You certainly can. Thank you. Anything else you would like? Uh... You got any water available? Not much of an ale man, myself. I do in the back, yes. Keeping yourself sober, huh, brother? I'm not related to you. (laughs) Alon gives you a long stare. Yeah, how much will that run me? Water is free. It's it's fine. Uh, I'll just hand her two silver for the entire thing, even though that's totally overpaying. Okay. Well, I'm not going to say that I'm not happy with this extra, but are you too sure about that? I have a decent amount of money that I'm able to do this. All right, then. I will have yours out as well. Your loveliness, your lovely company is worth it, my dear. She'll kind of start smiling and hide it with a cough. And just say again, I'll have it out in a minute. You can take any seat that's available. Shouldn't be long. And she'll head back into the kitchen. A few minutes later, she'll come out with two bowls and your drinks, one ale, one water, on a uh, platter, and she'll set it down and give each of you your respective orders. If there's anything else, just tell me. I'm going to be wrapping things up for the night. So after about, say, 20 more minutes, the food will close down, and I will likewise probably head to bed Uh, stay up as long as you'd like but i won't be around until tomorrow morning won't take long at all dear well i hope you enjoy it and she'll wander off again as i'm eating is it good it's very good 
I, uh, I, I tell her that, that I, I very much enjoy it. This is quite superb. In, uh, I lower my voice in an Evan clant. I tell him to Alada, you're not very good at improvisation, are you? I'm here on my own. We walked in together. Yeah, doesn't mean we're related. Alan just kind of like... <sighs> Alright. Yeah, I walked in and sat down on my own. Y'all walked up to the bar. paid for a room for me. No, you paid for yourself. I only paid for myself. With uh, one last annoyed look, I finish my soup and I go back to bed. What can I say? We don't look much alike. They don't know that! It's pretty obvious. One of us is purple, the other one is... Uh... Not all my siblings are purple, or red. How many tiefling siblings do you have? Tieflings do run in the family now. Because I don't have any siblings, or family, so... That got heavy. Yeah. Lota's kind of depressing. Yeah, well, maybe it's better that way. That way Thanks. you don't get your heart broken. When they leave you. And then I walk away. Alright. So who else is still down here other than me now? Well, uh, there's... Well, last patron walked out while she was talking to you. The person who was playing the flute has stopped and she's helping clean up, it, you definitely get the feeling that they're related now. Uh, right now you're the only one. They close up pretty early here, since it's just a small farming town. People don't usually stay up late like they would in the city. Because then they have to get up early. They can't afford to stay late. Yeah. Well, I'll just finish up my stuff and bring it over to him. Thanks yet again. Alright. <coughs> of course. And she'll take this up, then she'll take it back. Oh. Clean up the dirty dishes. Before I head upstairs, I'll just turn back and say, Have a good night's rest. You as well. Thank you. Alright, so you're all going to bed now. Seems that way, yeah. Alright. Then, fast forward through the night, nothing strange happens, safe in the, and you guys all wake up in the morning, whenever it is you guys plan to get up, and a new day starts. I take a moment before I go to bed to look at my amulet, put it away and go to bed. All right. <coughs> Bless you. Okay. Does this <laughs> room have a window? Uh, yes. Does it have blinds? Oh, Does what? it have blinds? Can you say that again? Does it have blinds? Ah, uh, blinds. Okay. I kept hearing pines. 
Do like, we have a pine tree in here? I, I don't know. Is this wood made out of stone? <laughs> Is it Christmas? Santa! <laughs> That's that's why I was confused. Here comes Santa Claus. I mean, it could be Christmas in July. It is summer. Is it okay, summer? So does this have blinds? Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, I will close the blinds. <laughs> right. Then I'm just going to start making illusions all over the place <laughs> to scare Erston when he wakes up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if the sun's up, I would have been up and gone already. Damn. <laughs> it was Wait, over Oh. Hmm. Wait, is Don't it morning me. already? Yeah. Yeah, we just kind of... I said well, I was going to fast forward to morning. Oh, okay. okay. Was... Something else you want to do, go ahead and say it. No, I, I head back downstairs with all my stuff ready for the day. Yeah, same. Alright. Um. Well... She's back at the counter. Her daughter or granddaughter, you still don't know, is helping. And uh, how much older does Lana look compared to the other girl? It's hard to tell. You can tell she's old, but she she has aged well. Do you say she was an elf or a human? She was a human. Oh, okay. And how young is the other one? She could be... 20... Early 20s or 30s. I mean, not early 20s. Like, late 20s or her 30s. Okay. It's at that age where it could go either way. It's like on the edge of where you ex would expect either one to be. Got a load is also in his late 20s. Me yeah. too, we could have been twins, man! Aren't you younger <laughs> than me? Now, this is out of character. <laughs> okay. Alright. How old is your character? Me? 28. Oh. So I'm only 27. Moving on. Ah. Uh, can, I mean, unless we're doing something special in the inn. Uh, All right. We should probably go find our contact. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go searching for the greatest hairstyles in this town. <laughs> Apparently. Uh, excuse me. And I like kind of flip my hair. Oh, wait, you're right. I pull out a mirror and then look at myself. <laughs> mm. I put my mirror back. <laughs> Alright. How long is your hair? You can see a picture of me on roll 20. I can't see it. It's, it's also on Discord. Yeah. Now he uses is it long enough to braid? Theoretically? <laughs> No, nah, I look weird. Never mind. Okay, let's go. Okay. So, um, uh, do you want to ask anyone, or are you just like walking around looking for somebody with weird hair? At first, that's what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah, I figure I just walk around. Yes, that's the style. He Make said that we would know where he was. Yeah. All right, make an investigation. I'm. Can I look for the sign, the symbol that you were talking about? That's over by the cliffs. Oh, never mind then. We find this guy immediately. <laughs> All right, so Stello and Erston. Um, you are walking around, and you notice this guy. He's kind of like leaning up against a building, kind of talking with someone. And he has what looks like a pixie cut. And it's kind of... It, at first it looks black, but while he's kind of moves his head and it catches the sun, you can tell it's like a dark blue. 
And this probably isn't our guy. It doesn't look too outlandish. Let's keep going. <laughs> they don't typically have that. I don't know. He stands out from everyone else. If he had a man oh, bun, I'd know for sure, but the pixie cuts, <laughs> I'm just not... Yeah, it's just nothing new. Am I thinking of a different haircut? No, you're right, What Kat. are you thinking? We're just... Like a mohawk? No, the no, pixie cut, cut is long in the front, really short in the back. Wait a second. Nope, not what I'm thinking of. Yeah, pixie cut is not that unusual. <laughs> no. I don't know why I was... I think it was because I wore out like a hairstyle at one point and somebody said it was okay. pixie cut, but that's Really not long I'm eyebrows that go it's, down to his chin. It's where it's like shaved on one side and then the hair is kind of flipped over. Oh, yeah. Uh... That's definitely weird. That guy. Let's ignore the blue-haired guy. Let's talk to this guy. Yeah. The hair is blue. Like, the clue the dye the comes from. Here. You don't know, you could ask. I'll walk up. They to wouldn't know what that hairstyle is called, though, because now it's bugging me. I, that, Asymmetrical? That's what it's called. I don't know what my hair is called. So, yeah, I'll walk up to him. Excuse me, mister. Oh, uh, okay. One moment. Oh, yeah. Uh, hi. Hi. Uh, it's in, El in Ebon Cantle. I don't know how much you want me to RP it out. Uh... I hear you know a good place to buy hair dye. You don't have to act it out. We'll just say in Evan Camp. Uh, it's, I hear you have some information for us. The crow flies at midnight. Ah, well, be oh, yes. Ah, <coughs> oh, yes. I was told you were coming. Ah. Oh. Yeah, from... You know what? Hey, uh, I'll... He'll turn to the other guy. I'll talk to you later. Uh, these are some friends of... Well, of a friend. I assume it's just I was told they were coming this way. I got something to give to him. Uh, I'll be back in a bit. And he'll just walk... The other dude will walk off. So... <laughs> All right, sorry. So, um, why don't we head over to my place to talk about this? Sound good? Sounds good to me. All mm -hmm. right. Uh, so, how's Reese doing, by the way? Been a while. Uh, bus band seems to be doing pretty well. You know, grumpy, quiet. That murderous look he's had. You know, he's still got it. That, that does uh, sound like him, yeah. I've only known him for a few days. Well, you catch on pretty quick. It's not that hard to tell. Uh, anyway, my place is at the edge of town, not too far a walk for how small this area is. Great view of the cliffside. And you guys will keep walking, and he'll. It leads to a rather smallish house. And he'll take out a key and open it, and you go into. Go in, it looks like it's only two rooms. There's a table. Probably not big enough for all of you. There's only like. Three chairs that's pushed against the wall. Do the three of you want to sit down, or can I sit down? Two of you sit down, and the other take the floor. I sit down in the chair immediately. If I'll I just lean against the wall. If I sit on the floor, nobody will even know I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'll know you're here because you came in here. 
so it, it should be fine. Yes. Cersei's just gonna let out a big sigh and pop down in the chair. <coughs> All right. So I was told you were the ones being sent uh, to take care of the upstart little noble who got in a bit too deep in a problem he couldn't fix. Is that right? That's about the sum of it. Well, can't say you look like much, but... You don't look like anything at all. Too bad unless you get killed. Nobody really cares about this guy much. Well, I have a pretty good track record of not getting killed so far. You know, well, from what I've heard, you're still relatively new. There's time to fix that. It's always good to know that the person we're going to kill is uh, not going to be missed. Uh, yeah. He is kind of a little shit. Any bad habits? I don't think anyone likes him. Any bad habits we should be aware of with him that might help us? Um, thinks way too highly of himself. Tends to underestimate other people. Talks about himself a lot. Drinking, drug use. I mean, there's rumors that he likes to indulge in a few choice substances that may or may not be of varying legality. Yes. I give I give Lon a, a look. Who? Lon. You're a Lon. No, Lon. Land. Wait, land. That's also my <laughs> name, not the character name. <laughs> Stello. Look at the roll twenty list. Stello, I give Stello a look. I return the look. <laughs> Never mind. Keep going. Well, uh, he also tends to have not very picky tastes in companionship. Guys, girls, doesn't really matter. That's not a bad habit. As long as they're remotely pretty. Uh, do you happen to have anyone that deals in these substances that he enjoys? Uh, not here. No contacts? No. To be honest, I might have some on hand of one of those. Hmm. Is it possible to overdose on it? Uh, yeah, I'd say so. This is a fairly delicate kind of drug. Doesn't take much. Could definitely do that. How is it used? Uh, usually kind of crushed up and uh, sometimes people will put in their drinks. It's not one you take by itself. It's kind of weird that way. Uh, that's also why some people like it. You can hide it, do it in plain sight, and people don't know unless you see it. Uh, see it put in. Been some uh, jokes where people did to others when they weren't looking to. Didn't always turn out great. Hmm. This, do we know if he has a favorite drink? Just a regular one? Uh, no, but he likes. He has expensive tastes, so. Probably anything. Gotcha. Okay. Is it like an open secret that he likes to take these uh, substances? Yeah. I'd say so. Just like it's an open secret. 
about a lot of things about this guy. He's not good at keeping his mouth closed, but he's mm-hmm. still a noble, even if he's not high on the Noble. Track. So people don't do anything about it? What color is the uh, drug substance? What? What color is the substance? It's kind of pale green. Is it the same color as the acid? No. <laughs> that would not have worked. <laughs> what is this acid obsession? <laughs> we have it. I yeah. also have a, a, I mean, a diuretic potion. I mean, it's <laughs> just because we have honestly it. more likely. <laughs> Okay, well, if we're not throwing any ideas, I'll be the first. If we can get that in a drink, I can flavor it to taste exactly like just the drink. Well, can't one of you alter your image to look like a woman? He doesn't Maybe. care what they look yeah. like. He just said they don't. He doesn't Although, care. They have to look just kind of pretty. Idea. I don't know about you. I do not, one, look like a woman, or two, look like a kind of pretty woman. Do or we... A- know anyone who's been brought into his estate recently for such purposes? I think there was a girl, huh? She's actually close to where you walked up to me at a few houses down. Half-elf. Very pretty, not very bright. I can act out one of those things. I think her name was, um, Suzanne? Maybe? She lives, uh, with her dad. Well, we don't have to... Much, so she sneaks out a lot. It's theorized a few of those were to the manor. Okay. Well, magically, I've been trying to do something ever since that one incident before, but if even without that, if we get some makeup, I can probably disguise myself like one. I'm pretty good at makeup, so... Same, it's just I don't have any for good reason. Get some crushed berries. Maybe. Maybe. First, either way, we'll need to see this person. But why do you have to look like them? I mean, it's any pretty person. Because if I can get in there as that person and walk out as a guard, that person killed them, not us. DM intervention here, real point. quick, before we spend a bunch of time. I'm gonna rule that with just a makeup kit, you probably will not be able to make yourself look enough like a person Especially one that's known to get in. Unless we have the specific class features that specifically allow you to do that. Isn't mm-hmm. that usually... Like, there's Assassin Rogue that can do that. There's a few feats that let you don a disguise as a bonus action. Either way, I have none of that. You're giving me ideas, though. Okay, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know. I'd sure. say no. Yeah. Either way, I, I might be able to do something magically, but it's an option. I just want to throw it out there since we're being silent. Like makeup and stuff, and I was like, eh. The Sky's Kid is way more than just makeup. It's wigs, it's the whole thing. I'd say we don't go that route because it just has too many weaknesses. As many as the plan that we already had. Easier to find you out, though. Eh. Either way. Any other ideas? Sneak in. That was the main idea, yeah. I'd say just kidnap him and take him to another location. Okay, any new plans? How are we gonna kidnap him? I mean, we're complicating this. Why don't we go in, 
overdose him because this uh, Gustav Gustus jo- Jones. Gustus, Gustus is, is our, our guy right here. here. Yeah. Gustus was saying he probably has some of the stuff. We get in, get in his drink. He dies from taking too much. We leave. Yeah. I do I like, like the plan. I like it too. Okay, so how do we get in? How do we find his drink stash? How do we make sure he drinks it? Well, it's, we could sneak in, and if he's sleeping, okay. we could pour it down his throat. He doesn't have to be awake to do it. That's where we, you come in, Alada. Honestly, not a bad idea. We can knock him out so he doesn't scream and then pour it down his throat, yeah. Yeah. How do we find the stuff that we need? We we need to find something in his safe. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But since our in- a smart idea to take him and make him show you to the safe. But since we're we going through have the have enough information on where exactly that was. Since we're going into the basement where he said it probably was somewhere in there. We'll check there first, probably. Or we can make sure that our target's secured first. How fast would overdosing take with this kind of drug? It would probably take an hour. If we were to give him the the whole bottle. First off, that's very expensive. I'm not sure if I'm willing to give you that much. Or however much it needs to overdose them. Probably... An hour? Of... Intense pain on his part. Probably will wake up if it's not magical sleep. Hey. (laughs) Also, if you want to... I would like to ask for at least some payment. I'm not involved in this. I'm not getting a reward, so... We're still thinking about it. Give us a minute. Alright, then. Here's what, I'm, here's what I'm thinking. We put him to sleep. Give him the drink. We wake him up. And then we tell him we have the antidote. And if he doesn't give us the antidote, he will die. Except for the fact that he's used this drug before. He doesn't know how much we give him. And we give him enough to overdose, then... Okay. I'm not ex- particularly experienced with this. I don't know if you are, Alon, but... Are there antidotes to drug overdose? I do have a couple of healing potions. I don't know if that'll work. Okay, well, that's an idea. That it is. I turned to Gus. I turned to Gus. Can healing potions help him? Just in case. That would he know if that were that were an it, option? It would definitely increase the chances of not dying. If I were given two. Yeah. Okay. There you go. I have two. Now let's hope that he doesn't just yell out, Guards! Kill them and take the potions! Well, we would have Magic the knife. <laughs> or have a knife way. knife to his neck or something. Possible. He makes a sound, he just tells us where the stuff is, one of us goes down and get it, comes back, and then we leave. Mm-hmm. And we don't give him anything. Put him to sleep and just run. Still seems to have just as many flaws as every other plan, but it is indeed a plan. When whoever's done tapping that pen. It's not a pen, it's a mouse. Here. Thurston, you have any plans? Or any new ones? I think we're overcomplicating the whole thing. I mean, we're breaking into a mansion with magical defenses over a dozen people. Uh, Feels like it's already pretty complicated. Mm -hmm. Uh, That's part of the problem. Uh, It's when we when I was growing up, it was keep things simple. 
if we're <laughs> giving him drugs and we're trying to convince him to do it and we're stuck in a time frame because we've already killed him, basically, that doesn't seem easy. Why don't we tell him we did it, get him to bring us to the safe, and then knock him out, slash kill him, overdose him. Okay, do we have any way to kill him without anything? Like, no visible traces, not even drugs? I don't know the extent of Elada's magic over here. I technically have that, but I'm not sure if it's a good idea for me to use it. Because if I just melt his brain, theoretically, however I did to that one giant rat, and we just put a little bit of the drugs on his face... Second theory. Second theory. We give him the drugs and push him off the cliff. At that point, why even give him the drugs? Yeah, that's just a waste of money. He, he... We give him enough to make it look like he overdosed, but he didn't overdose. He just stumbled out. Okay. What uh, was the point of throwing him over the cliff? Yeah. I don't know. There's no one that's going to be able to go up to his body and investigate it and say, oh, he was on drugs when he fell off the cliff. If they okay, do you that, know what? Actually curious. they're probably speaking to his corpse, and then they'll just ask him, and he'll say, well, these people came in, gave me mm -hmm. drugs, and then threw me over a cliff. <laughs> we better pay hide our faces. Erston, do you have a disposable rat? If there's any in the town, I can ask one, but... Uh, maybe, never mind, never mind, this is a horrible idea. <laughs> well, when it's disposable, one of my friends, it's kind of already a bad yeah. idea, yeah. Yeah, I was just going to check what would happen to a person's brain when I did that exact same thing with that big rat. <laughs> but if they're looking in his brain, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm okay with the silent assassination and then just put a little bit of drugs on his face. We don't have to carry his body through the entire compound again. Yeah. Unless we're taking out everybody on the way, it just, I don't... Yeah. Now if we get caught, do you know anyone on the guard that we could use as a scapegoat, Gustus? Uh, not with these guys, but they're mercenaries, basically. So, hmm. might be able to grab someone. Okay, I've got a question then. Better idea not to help this guy, but he's paying him pretty well. So he's paying him, not his parents? Well, his parents are, yeah. But if you make him think it's not worth it, maybe. I don't know. Before he came into town, were these guards still here guarding the estate? Uh, yeah, a few of them. They added some more because, well, he didn't leave many friends behind him, I'll say that. Well, I imagine a few of those guards enjoyed this entire estate to themselves before they had to share it with a few more guards and asshole of a noble. So many reasons mm -hmm. to want this guy dead. You know, that's a good point. I think anyone would want him dead after having to live with him. And if one of the guards disappears after Lord is dead... Hmm. It's definitely an idea. Just wanted to throw it out there. Are we killing another guard, or are we just asking him to leave? Well, we can pay him <coughs> off, and if he doesn't go along with it, then we don't have any <laughs> options. If he doesn't go along with it, we kill him and then take his uniform. Well, we would take the whole body. We don't want him to... Yeah. And throw him into the ocean. Okay. Probably. We're going to throw someone into the ocean at some point. Hell, we'll throw you if you really want it that badly. <laughs> no, I can't. No, yeah, I can't swim. I can swim. Oh, dear God. Okay. okay. <laughs> so working plan, we go in, kill the noble. Hopefully after he teaches us where the safe is. And then we Let's get look a... for the safe first and see if we can find it without him. Sure. But... That way we don't even have to complicate the matter by keeping him alive. Okay. So go in, scout for safe, kill Noble at some point after safe is discovered on our own or with him. Get a mercenary to disappear, alive or dead, and then we leave. 
Okay. How much for a tiny bit of that drug, Gustus? Well, it was... 100 gold for the entire thing. <laughs> that wasn't even an option then. No. Much for a lethal dose. It doesn't take much. I stocked up. Right, how much gold? It... Mm. Just enough to make it look like an overdose, maybe. Uh, and so I'm looking for a lethal amount. Honestly, just 15. give us a little... Mm. 15? One five? Yes. Yes. There's I'm adding that, because... Can we see it first? I want to see what it looks like to specifically see what we're looking at. Sure. Uh, give me a moment here. As he does that, I'm going to awaken mine to Erston. So, you said you were good at that herbalism kit. Think you can craft up something that just looks like this? Doesn't need to do any of its effects? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm already pulling out my gold pouch and I'm responding. I'm just gonna buy it. Okay. If not now, it might be useful later. Okay, fair enough. Mm -hmm. I was out of character. Okay. Uh, All right. So he steps over and you see him enter a room and you hear a sound like something scraping across the floor. And you can kind of see him from where you're sitting and you can tell he kind of bent down. Go yeah. straight back up and when he comes back in he has um uh, a largish vial, it's not big, and it's still a vial, but it has, it's definitely light green, it's kind of, it's not, it's a crumbly substance, it's okay. not fine grains. Sure. That makes sense if it's, uh, Yeah, it's supposed to be finely grounded and then added. Solution. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I will take the land before he comes back. God, Stello. Or Stello. I, I <laughs> wish we could come back and steal some of this stuff later. Nah, nah. Family is family. Evanclad rules. Let's be real. If we really wanted something valuable, we'd go through another ship. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Honestly, I'm tempted already. <laughs> well, I'll hand over. Earth Erden pulls out his whole pouch of gold and hands it over. It's 15 gold. It's all of my money. Alright. Then, I guess it's my mind now. And he'll take it and he will pocket it. And then, he'll look around. I don't suppose any of you have a empty vial, do you? I do. I'll pull one out. Of course you do. Alright then. And he'll uncork the one he has, and then he'll uncork the empty one. He'll pull... Pour some in, recork it, hand it to you. There you go. I no longer Throw have a glass in. bottle. Does this drug Throw have a name? I'll be out. Uh, yeah, they call it, um... Sour weed. Sour weed, okay. Out of curiosity... That's not a slang name, but... No one calls it by its real name, so I don't... Honestly, I don't even remember what it is. It's called Rocks and Sand by Weed? This is weird. What? Is it well, sour weed, you said? Yeah. Yes. Because it has a slight sour taste. I have curiosity. What does it do? Like... Uh, in, like, it, small like, portions. It... It makes you feel very good, and side effects of hallucinations. So it's usually a... really strange hallucinations, not scary, but occasionally somebody will get something kind of not so good. It affects different people differently. Okay. It lasts a couple hours, usually. Okay. Interesting. You'd think someone with that amount of money would be able to buy something a little bit more, you know, fun. I don't you know. never know with these nobles. 
hallucinations. One is in the price tag. Hallucinatory substances usually are pretty entertaining. I don't know what you've been taking, but I could have some mushrooms that they'll perk you up. <laughs> okay. And I'm never going to take any of the stew that you eat anymore. <laughs> oh god, I way too expensive waste. I want to see time itself. You and I, we will talk later. <laughs> There's a couple of patches outside Kintala that are just... Mm. <laughs> or we can just get a sundial. A long wing set, Erston. This is gonna be a thing now, isn't it? Oh, Erston <laughs> dealing drugs? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think he was so happy last time for? After he holding that mushroom for a while. Oh god. A lot, do you have any ideas? What? Uh, oh, a lot. I have nothing at the moment. Okay. Well, let's go. I want to camp out and start out the place while we have daylight and then enter at night. Probably a smart idea. I... This... Is free of charge. I can show you down where the secret entrance is. I happen to have been the one that found it. Oh, oh excellent. It seems that he had been using it to sneak out. His parents had a rule where he wasn't supposed to leave. Understandable. Mm -hmm. However, he. He hasn't been going to the town. I'm not sure where he's been going. I meant to follow him the next time, but there wasn't a next time, and I was uh, a bit preoccupied. When was this? When he last left? It was about a week ago, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I want to do an inside check on him just to see what he was doing. Alright. <laughs> Roll for it. I don't know why I'm doing this. I'd have really low insight. <laughs> yeah, no. I know nothing. You don't know. Seashells. He could have been taking his own drugs. Could have been having sex with someone. Who knows? He was just napping in the forest. I, I, I wanna I wanna lie and kinda like give him a wink like I see I see what you're doing and I give him a wink. <laughs> He'll smile a bit. Alright, well let's go find this entrance. If it's okay with you hmm, if you've already found it, do you need to let's wait until night. I'll, we'll meet you here again, that way we don't look too suspiciously with a bunch of people following you around throughout town. That yeah. is a smart idea. I like this one. Or, you know, you can just go show me and I I can turn into... <laughs> something. Something. Go ahead. Yeah, I'll just be your dog. Let's take me out turn to the water. Turn into, like, on the beach. a pretty beetle and be his brooch. Oh, I might be losing everything here. My internet's... Kind of terrible. Okay. Well, welcome back. <clears throat> we should have a contest to see who is worse. Uh, I'd rather. <clears throat> uh... Where's that? What? Internet. Yeah. Oh. Because I'm uploading yep. several videos, so. I think we're okay for now. Okay. Uh, I'll just turn into a dog. You take me for a walk. We see the place, and then I can bring everybody else down here under the cover at night. I'm gonna oh, go. I'm going to get a dog. <laughs> Guess that works. Well, there we go. It's gonna be a shame when it disappears after the week. Yeah. But that's how it goes. It runs off, never comes back. Mm -hmm. Why do I feel like this is a story? Okay. Well, if you need me, I'll probably be back at the end. 
Well, yes, I would like to know where I have to meet you guys. Back <laughs> <laughs> in. Yeah, let's not wait around this poor guy's house anymore. Let's go one at a time. Yeah. Maybe different entrances. There's a... You will have been seen coming in and seem a bit more suspicious going out by one by one, I'd think. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. But either way, this happened. Do you have a fake shipment that I can take and so it just looks like we were picking something up? Uh, yeah. Uh, there's been some... Yeah, there's something I've been thinking of just getting rid of. I don't need it around anymore. I can give that to you. I'll it's, take it. We'll take that. Right. It's a book. Someone got it for me for my birthday. I don't read. I will take that gladly. Right. I think they meant it as a joke. <laughs> uh, he'll go back in his room, come back out. It's, it's a dictionary. <laughs> So, yeah, there probably was a joke in there. I can take that. Yeah, you probably need it more than I do. Books and me just don't get along. I read them, but it's never something I want. I kind of yank it. I yank it out of his hand and says, I am a poet. And okay. I put it in my bag. Ah, I don't like poetry. Like, good for you. You just have, a, you just have to read the right one. I'm sure, awesome. maybe someday somebody will force me to. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, you all go take that out, and then I guess your name's Erston, right? Yes. I'd suggest transforming into a dog after and then come. Yeah, that makes sense. Was that a pun? Four to come and three to leave. Yeah. So So am I going to be the one that's going to have to listen to Alon's poetry practice as we walk back? Well, I'm walking back with you guys. Yeah. (laughs) I'm going. I'm not going to listen. I walk away. (laughs) I am tired of these people. (laughs) Okay. Bye. Some artists are just never understood. Don't don't they need pain to be able to write or whatever their excuse is? Like I think that. that's a masochist, but yeah. Oh, I looked up masochist in a thesaurus once. It said artist. Ah, yes. Yeah. We did just see the dictionary. I believe you. Right? <laughs> Let's go. I am not here to listen to this, but if I were, I would be angry. That's the best kind of jokes! I go find a tree and sit. No, no, I, I go down to the beach like a real artist. I feel like we forgot the point of the fake package. <laughs> <laughs> At this point. I go down to the beach and just stare out into the ocean. You're going to the one behind his house? Where, where? No, like, That's public beach, anywhere. Public uh, beach. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. Okay, Stella will just walk back into the to the inn in as unsuspicious a manner as possible. Shame. I write in my- I write in my, uh, I make a poem about my anger and suffering with these idiots. Alright. You can time skip it if you want, but that's what I'm doing for the rest of the afternoon. Alright. So, everybody else goes back to and you get greeted as you walk in. And then I'm guessing Erson's going back to meet a friend. Yes, yeah. I'll just make up some lame excuse, mumble it on my way out, and (laughs) wind my way back to the house. Alright. <clears throat> I have a quick question and I speak low and Evan Kent to the other two since I, I guess I'm back here. You're now. the only Oh, you're back. I'm back. We agree oh. 
Maybe I should also look into this movie. Not, never mind. I, I speak and I say, um, are we coming back here after what we do at the, uh, at the mansion or should we just leave? I haven't decided yet. Depends, really. We don't know what's going to happen. If it goes off without a hitch, we can probably stay the night. All right. That's it. All right. Going back to Erston. Yes, I'm the dog now. Yes. So he will be kind of waiting, pretending to do something outside of his house. And when he sees you, he'll just put on a big. <laughs> I'll go, oh, there he is. I'll put on a little there show, like the, the quiet barking and the dancing excitedly, all that good stuff. All right. Yeah, let's go to the beach. Come on. And he'll just kind of go out, look around. Yeah. And I'll run up and back and just all around, you know, like a normal, playful, energetic dog. All right, so you do that all the way down. Help! Um, it's kind of rocky going down here, but there's a small path. Slip. It's kind of slippery. You almost stumble a few times. You're not quite used to walking on four legs yet. True. Since we just started this thing down safely. Um, it's about 15 feet down. And he'll look over at you. Do you want to stay in the dog form or are you going to go back to a gnome? Personally, I think the dog's form is cuter, but you can choose. I'll just sit on my hind legs and cock my head. Alright. So, it's Gonna be down uh, to the right. Okay. It's got a weird symbol on it. Don't really recognize it. Not sure if it's. I don't know what it is. It's not the family crest. But I saw it earlier. I couldn't figure out how to open it. Thought you'd press on it, but apparently not. I'll bark and. I knew we was talking about the basement coming out. So I guess that's where it leads. Um, you know, walk around and then stops near two big boulders and he'll kind of crouch down and reach behind a rock. And look back at you. It's here. I'll go over and look to see. You can see it. It's kind of like hidden. Okay. Right, it's actually in a little... Not a crevice. It's... There's a boulder blocking it. Then there's bigger rocks beside. Sure. Yeah, there's okay. one of these rocks you can see if you look close. Kind of has... Uh, Crack and it'll swing in if we figure out how to get it open. Okay. No, I'll, I'll work. And... It would be easier if I could talk to you. I'll admit that. I'll bark again. Alright. Well. Not sure if I'm doing it wrong or not. But if you can think of another way to get this to work, feel free to try. I'll shake my head. Alright. So, 
Want to go bring your friends down here? Maybe they'll be a bit more helpful. They'll nod. Alright, I'll wait here. Go fetch. I'll bark and scamper back up. And then, yeah, I'll slowly make my way back and... As Erston, I'll wait for night back at the inn, just... So we have a lot of daylight left, right? Yeah. Okay. Although you can always go down and check it out. I think the idea was we were going to wait for night to go, so we're not obvious. Yeah, but you're not sure what it is either. Uh, you don't have to go down the same way. The beach connects all around. Okay. So it could just be going for a walk on the beach or... Whatever. Well, I'll... DM. Um, oh, yeah. go ahead. No, go ahead. No, mine is less... Um, mine is more entertaining than um, plot-heavy, so go ahead. Okay. Well, I'll go back to the end. Hey, guys, I uh, I found this really amazing patch of uh, alchemical and herbal supplies. If you want to come with, I could use a hand gathering some of this. Sure, I'll come along. All right. Let me just finish, uh, something in here. Can I make a performance check on, uh, how scathing my poem is? Sure. How oh, um, I can't get too big. <laughs> yes! It's full of ununderstood angst and pain. You are a true misunderstood poet. Congrats. Alright, let's go. Do we get to hear it, or do you just write it down? I just write it down. Okay. We aren't worthy. I could write one for you later. I actually sure. do. Alright. So... And angst is my genre. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take the group out into the woods, where we just have some privacy somewhere. And I'll explain to them everything I saw, like the thing hidden, we don't know how to open it. Let me... Let's go up to it, I guess, if we can. Yeah, I mean, I can take you guys down. We can take some different routes. Do... I just pull out enough supplies to look like I'm going camping. Let's go! <laughs> I mean, we're near the beach. Let's go fishing. Let's go! So we'll just all come back here and grab everybody one at a time, and we'll just work our way down? If we want, we could all just go. We came in here mostly together. I can't imagine it's too odd for people to go to the beach. That's... In our full clothing? But if you it? want, I can wait until night and I'll sneak out, and they can either walk out or sneak out themselves. You can easily sneak out. I mean, it's up to you guys. I... I... The way people were talking, they wanted me to bring you down stealthily. If we just want to walk down, that's fine, too. Okay. Well, it's still daylight, right? See. Okay. Well, there's not that many ways I can get down stealthily, so... Does the window that our room opens up go into an alley? <laughs> there's not really many alleys. This isn't a city. Yeah. We're, we're out in the woods. Village, dude. Yeah. yeah, this is a town. <laughs> Selfie doesn't always mean unseen. It could also mean, like, hiding your intentions. Yeah. Fine. I can get out easily. Alota, can you? Well, that's what I was saying when I took everybody um, out for the supplies that we were already in the mean... woods having this conversation. Yeah. I'm pretty stealthy. I could just fly through my bedroom window. That will definitely have to be done at night. Elon yeah. definitely rolls his eyes this time. So you guys want to go back to the inn to leave at night? <clears throat> yeah, since we just walked out. If you want us to just leave and then do our thing right now and not go back to the inn? Or do you want us to go back to the 
I'm confused about what you're asking. <laughs> it's up to you guys. I'm not asking anything. I'm offering I can either walk you down now, at night, whenever you want. I say at night. Wait night. till everyone's at asleep. If you already know where it is, we can do everything else from there. The main reason why I suggested scouting out during the day was so that we could see it easier. But Maybe we all have dark vision. That doesn't really... It helps, but it doesn't make it in just as good as daylight. Yeah, because we can't see colors, so if there's any... Yeah. Also, it's just, you know, very hard to see past 60 feet. Yeah. Well, I got 120. You have weird eyes. I also only have a heart that beats once per minute. What, what else shall we talk about about me? That's weird. I'm sure there's a list. Personality. Okay, let's go. Let's just go back to the end and wait till night then. Well, I'm going to run around the woods until nightfall, because I'm not sending it in, in all day for no reason. Unless, I was going to say, what if we go, you found that trap door, right? What trap door? What if... Oh, the one at the secret entrance? Yeah, the secret entrance. Yeah. What if we wait inside and just wait till nightfall? I can't. Yeah, we can't I open it. We probably could open it eventually with trial and error. Thing is that that's really no different from us just leaving now and doing the entire job. But if you want to do that and two people don't want to go back to the end, I'm fine with not going back either. Let's just make a choice and do it. It looks fine with me, really. It's. I think it's too risky to be trying to sneak out of the inn. Let's just go. We're already out. Okay, and let's go. To the hatch! So, okay. We're already out. I mean, if, if somebody looks out the window at the wrong time, they're going to see somebody flying through the air, or they're going to see us prowling through the streets. At least now we have is, good reason. Is there any wooded area outside of town? There's patches of trees. But not, like, enough to hide us? Not heavily wooded. I can say, we can act like we're leaving, and then come back at nightfall. That's like Why would we... Where? That's what I was... Whatever, let's just do your plan. No, I'm, I'm not saying it's bad, I'm just confused. Same. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. So, let's... I'll guide you guys down to the secret entrance. Okay, let's go. You guys do that? Mm-hmm. And mm -hmm. he's still just kind of hanging out, skipping... Uh, trying to skip stones. Just chilling. And then he you know, looks up and it's like, oh, well, there you are. And hey, you're not a dog anymore. Yeah, it's, it cool. takes a lot of energy for me to hold it, so. I can't imagine. Uh, <coughs> I'm going to let you guys sort this thing out. I'm going to go take a nap, actually. I'm kind of, oof, it takes a lot out of me. Okay. There's a... Uh, Nice stretch of beach to just chill out at. Well, oh, so I'm just going to curl up in some rocks or something nearby. Just pull some stuff together. Hey. Well, yourself. I look around for people and then um, I'll go to the door. I assuming this is where the door is. Yeah. Uh, I'll point to where he showed Evan. It's over here, it's... I assume this is how you open it, I don't see anything else. This is where he came out of, it has a weird symbol. 
just can't seem to get open. It doesn't push, it doesn't turn. I guess I'll use my thieves tool. There's nothing really to use your thieves tools on. It doesn't have a lock. While I do think those tools generally get us out of many situations, I look down at the hinge. Is there enough room to stick a crowbar under? There's not really a hinge on the outside. This is like a kind of, it's built into the rock. It's made to look hidden. I think at this point we might just want to all grab it and pull as hard as we can. Us three or us four? As many. <laughs> Say that again, Kat. You cut out. It would actually be push. When the dude came out, He it swung inward from what I could tell. It was kind of dark, but huh. it didn't look like it came out. So if I'm you guys want to do that, yeah, let's not try. What if it's magically trapped? Then this whole excursion was kind of pointless. Great! Let's go push it. I mean, do you know how to look for magical traps? Uh, I'm just trying to cover my bases, but no. Okay. Alota, do you know how to look for magical traps? <laughs> Not necessarily. Well, have I read anything about it? You may have read a few books about things to look for. It seems like something that might interest you. Okay, how would one go about doing that unless it was specifically tied to spells? Um, there could be strange symbols, there could be an energy you could feel, faint, magical energy. There may be some strange things that seem off about an area okay. where a magical trap has been placed. I'll explain this to these two. Okay. I'm. Did, did not the imp sure. say there was a. Sorry. Did the imp say there was a symbol on the door? Or no? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That There's circle with the lines. Oh, right. Is this an Ebonclad symbol or a rune? It doesn't look like an Ebonclad symbol. Or would any of us. All... Would any of us yeah. recognize it? No. I'm just I'm saying. What, what, what if this is a sigil? It very well could be. What about if I just. I personally don't recognize it, so if it is. I have a hammer. <laughs> if everything looks like a nail, let's go. <laughs> hey, if nothing else, if something blows up, someone might come down and open the door for us. We knock them out and go in. Hmm. Has there been sounds of explosions in these woods before? Uh, not that I've heard. Okay, so I don't have to go find a squirrel that uses a body. <laughs> I take out my hammer and a crowbar and the other. Let's get... Let's get cracking, then. I'll help you with whatever you need to do. I'd say just destroy the door. That will be very hard to cover up, but... I mean, how- well then, how else are we gonna get in? Let's just try pushing it first. We haven't tried that. We push it. Alright. Everyone make me a strength check. Well... Oh. Nope! Ooh. Oh, that's not that one, sadly. <laughs> sadly not. <laughs> I was hoping. <laughs> Everyone who's trying, I assume. Okay. I'm napping. Uh, Nobody got me. I'm just kind of watching you guys do this. <laughs> See what's happening. For a moment, you felt 
something, but that that moment's gone. Damn it. I mean, Gus, do you want to help out? How strong are you? Not. But I'll, I'll give it a shot. Your name I... isn't Gus, but okay. <laughs> Oh, oh, were you not talking to me? I thought you were talking to me. I said Gus. My bad. I didn't hear that. I Sorry. guess I could try if you don't call me Gus again. A... What was his name? Guster. <laughs> Gustus. Yeah. All right, go. I'm fairly strong. Not strongest, but I'm not your friend over there. I'm just pushing Anepoli on and into the ground. <laughs> My feet sliding back. Yeah. I much prefer using those tools myself, to be honest. What's your what's your strength? You can see it. <laughs> no, I can't. Negative one. No, I mean, but uh, eight. Like, uh, eight. Oh, okay, so I am stronger than you. Yeah, you're so zero. Like, yeah. <laughs> All right. Nope. Really? First, I'm gonna crack an eye open. I can turn into a bear. Then please, by all means, before you take a rest, go ahead. Well, this is embarrassing. I'm only slightly more effective than you. Huh. <laughs> if you didn't do anything, it's not any more effective. Alright. Ursin's gonna We're get up. We're all useless. I that's ridiculous. So sick. Ursin's go gonna on, get Ursa. up. And starts stretching, and as he's stretching, his arms get just longer and longer, and his hair gets thicker. Until eventually he's towering over everyone as a brown bear. How long goes? Aw. Well, that's impressive. <laughs> yeah, I go from three feet to eight feet. Is he, does he look, does he look like a cuddly bear, or like grizzled, and like, he's seen, like, battle? No, it would be like curly hair, it looks soft and just. Aww. If it wasn't for the six inch claws, it would be super cuddly. No, I'm I'm sorry I insulted you earlier. Bye oh, bye. <laughs> I'll just walk by and pat him on the head gently. <laughs> and then I'll push on the bear. Go on then. I'll push on the rock in my bear form. Well, I guess I'll help again. I'll, and he'll go and uh, if we need to, I'll help too. Yeah. Might as well all do it together. And one, Whoa. two, uh, hey! I, I did better than the bear. Oh I'm assuming just because there's people in my way, I'm trying not to kill you. <laughs> like, Yahoo! <laughs> I'm getting stronger. <laughs> one day I'll get a four. <laughs> Oh, wow. You did get a four. Not really. <laughs> wow, this is pathetic. Oh. Stop and come aside. Look at it. Oh, look. All right. I cracked a bit. Not enough for it to make a difference, but... And he'll point down, and you can tell it's a bit uneven now with the rest of the rock. Let's, uh... You guys keep working at that. Let's let, uh... Let's back up and let the bear do all the work. Let's see if it, it'll help. I'm fine with that. <laughs> hey, there's no one in my way. Can I try right. with advantage? Sure, let's you go. You want to give it a running shove? Yeah? Sure. Okay. I have to do this manually, unfortunately. Oh, wow. Are you kidding me? Wow. This is sad. Doors. Always the bane. Right? What if I what if I do it again and I get an at 20? I'm new to bareness. I'm sure you guys can move that rock eventually. Right? Eventually, yeah. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna let you guys do your thing and unlike a load, I'm gonna be useful and scout out the area, make sure no one's looking this way or can see us. Can I just take uh, twenty? I'm being completely useful. And keep my head on a swivel. I take my short sword and start like jabbing it against the crack that we made. 
All right. <laughs> um, make me a check to make sure your sword doesn't snap. Yeah. I don't think that's a good idea. There's a reason why the crowbar does that. I was gonna say. I'll take my crowbar and do the. <laughs> no, I'll take. I'll do the short sword. What, what what check do I do? I'm trying to think of what. I would make a like a con saving throw for the sword itself. Sure, <laughs> straight up con. Just make. Damn it. <laughs> yeah. Um, or twenty. Snapping yeah. and edge of the blade. It's not like full blade snap, but the very edge where the point is is no longer pointed. Well, that was yeah. loud. You guys want to end here since it's ten o'clock, and maybe you'll beat the door next time. Next you guys have a choice. Maybe we'll be able to think of some things. Between then, looking it over, trying to feel anything from it didn't work. You didn't recognize anything. These tools don't work. Pushing doesn't work. Mm. I mean, maybe it just has a high DC, and we all suck at pushing things. Yeah, no. Mm -hmm. Eventually, pushing will work. I seduce the door. Really what? quick, mimic. Yeah, I'm gonna intimidate the door out of the way. Really quick, before we end, the the Rah. symbol intimidated. The symbol that we saw. What is it? It's on just like a little rock in the gap? It's carved into the rock. Okay. And that rock it can't be moved or anything? Um... We're the like noble. Get out of the way door. What? Like if you tried turning it? Is that possible? Uh... Yeah. He said he tried that, but it's it's like not on the main wall, but it's carved into a rock. You might be able to pry it loose. Well, I just want to see if I could turn it while it's in there. Okay. Like if I dig my claws yeah. into it or something and spin. You know what? Sure. I just wanted to see if it worked before we ended. Seeing if it was simple. I thought I fixed it. Is the door intimidated? <laughs> the door is not. It's quaking if not existent boots. <laughs> An earthquake happens. That's what happens. Come on, baby. Let me have that wood. Okay, so I'm assuming it didn't work, and we can end this. <laughs> no, we can never I'm end. I'm looking up something. I just start taking my hammer and, like... At this point, I kind of, like... I'm doing that, like, defeated thing, but I'm, like, chipping at the sigil on the door. He's, uh, going... Augustus is gonna walk up... You know what? Hold up, guys. Wait a moment. Don't destroy it. I might be able to ask some more about this. Give me, like, a okay. day. Okay. All right. Okay. Is there any damage that we can fix, like, momentarily or cover up? Probably. Okay, what would I do to do that? Uh, like, do you have... What spells do you have? I thought you had one that... I do not have Mending, no. Oh, I thought you had gotten that. No, I don't even think that's an option for me. Does a oh. Loda, do you have Mending? Or is that... I got, like, pretty much straight illusion-based spells. I look for a rock and, like, push it into the crack. I can try to sleep the rock. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't remember what Druid Trap did specifically, so nope, I'm useless. Okay, can you just tell me what the damage is so I can see if I can try to repair it? It's not that bad. Okay, what is it? Uh, it's just like some scrapes. Okay, I can't repair that, never mind. It was just some falling rocks. 
Let's go. Okay. I take some um, little like stones and pebbles and like scatter them around the door, make it look like kids were playing. All right. So we'll cover our tracks. Go back to the inn. Pick up some grass on the way. These herbs are great, Erston. <laughs> Take some leaves off the trees. Mash it all up together. We'll cook the best potions this side of the city. <laughs> One last hurrah. <laughs> right. Are we good? Yep. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, folks. Thanks for coming. Roll the credit scene. And we'll see you next week for Bloops Group. <laughs>